Hello there, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a hair tutorial and several of you requested a tutorial on the way I wore my hair in a couple of videos last week. So that's what I'm doing for you today. I'm going to try really hard to recreate that. I did that on a whim and it happened to be a style I loved and you all did too. So if you're new here, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. I'm just gonna begin by roughly combing through my hair and today I'm going to use my typical styling products, but I have a tutorial coming up for you trying out several new products, some that have been recommended by you all. So I'm starting off though today with the Catwalk Root Boost, just doing a little bit at the crown of my hair. And then I will do just a tiny bit here and a little bit here in the top but I'm not bringing any of it kind of too low on either side. And then I am still using the Stylus Sheer Remedy. This has really helped my hair recover from some of the damage I did. And then I've had some hair loss after an illness. So I've just been kind of working that into a little bit of the scalp. That sounds scary with an oil. You do want to be careful not to get too much, but this one, it's not a heavy oil and it is specifically a scalp treatment. And then I work a little bit of it through the ends of my hair to add a little bit of shine. That is something that you can skip if your hair is in great condition. You don't need to apply that, but it's one of my favorites right now. All right, now it's time for the blow dryer and I'm just going to blow dry it to the side that I normally style on to the right. And then after blow drying, we're gonna tweak how it looks with our styling product. The hair is all dry and you may have noticed as I was drying, I do kind of dry my hair in multiple directions. That's something my stylist talked about doing to help add some volume. That is something that's really important to do. I just do it, but I kind of always forget to mention it. But blow drying your hair kind of in all different directions and then as the hair starts to get dry, starting to direct it on the side that you want to style it that will help you get some more volume. All right, so now here we are, um, kind of our typical place that we usually are. And this is where I was last week when I was styling my hair for the video that I was going to put up. And I just ran my flat iron through the typical sections here on the side and here in the front. My bangs are a little bit longer than they were last week, but still pretty close to the same length. And then I just run my flat iron through the top like usual. And here on the side. All right, now is the time we're going to create and mold the shape we want our hair to go in. So I'm just using my favorite Enjoy Dry Wax. 
If you're not at all familiar with this or you have difficulties using this, I have a video all about that. But I'm just putting about that much. I kind of spread it out in my hand. And then what's really important with this product is either use your blow dryer or just friction from your hands. I like to do friction because that's like it's my arm workout for the day. <laughs> and you want to just really warm up that wax to where it looks like it's completely disappeared. This is a unique product in that it has not dried on my hands. Now I can actually apply it through my hair. So I'm just kind of going all over to distribute a little bit of that product everywhere. And then I will kind of drag my hands like this so that I get more of the product on the tips of my fingers. And now I'm gonna go back in and mold my hair into the shape I want it to be in. So I do kind of work a little bit of it into the back section there. And you'll see I'm scrubbing it in and then I can just kind of pull down the ends of the hair. So if you're somebody who doesn't like the spikes, you can pull the spikes down. You know me, I like the spikes. I'm not at all against having crazy hair. All right, so I'm really working that into this front section, but then the sides smooshing down. So you can see how flat that looks on the sides, right? A little crazy. All right, and then what I did, so I was getting done and I was like, you know, I'm not really liking how this is looking. I don't know what I want. Now what I'm gonna do is pull this piece of hair right here. All right, so this was going this direction. Just going to reach in. And because it was blow dried that way, and we started over there with some product, it kind of keeps it a little flatter towards the face versus if I had blow dried it in this direction. So now I'm going to take a little more Enjoy Dry Wax, work it into my fingers, and now just create a little bit of texture. So this is the part where I just take pieces of hair and usually it ends up being the sections of hair that have highlights. So it makes them, it makes it really stand out that you've done this step. And then here in the front, I'm going to kind of pull this down towards the front just a little bit and continue to work that product through, creating a little bit of texture and shape. And then making sure that I really pull this side down. All right, so before hairspray, this is what it looks like. And with Enjoy Dry Wax, you do have lots of time to work with it. So I do like to get my hair almost to where I want it to be before I go in with hairspray. And that way I feel like I don't need as much hairspray uh, because even though I'm using really high hold products and I want my hair to stay put, and it does, I don't want it to be like helmet hair. So just a little tip there, make sure your hair is kind of pretty close to where you want it to be with Enjoy Dry Wax and then go in and I'm using the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray to lock everything in place. Okay, now after I put in my earrings, I went back and checked the photo of the picture from last week and there's one extra thing that I need to do. So I did pull over this front piece, but in those videos, what I also did is I pulled over a little more of this section here. So I'm just going to pull down this little piece that I had also put over and see how that just like it does something, it's kind of crazy. One little change that could make a difference. So just by pulling that over, it kind of makes this part look like it is staggered. That's the word I've been searching for, staggered. So you can see it has more of a staggered look. It also kind of brings that hair forward. And so now I'll just 
do a tiny little spray of some hairspray. And now I think we've got the finished look. So let me give you the full view. So what I love about short hair and what hopefully you picked up on is you can do your regular style and just change up one little thing and it can make the overall end result look different. So just by changing up this front section right here and making it so it's not a straight part over like I normally do, it just, I, I love the difference that that one little change can make. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, all the products I use today will be listed in the description box below this video. I will also have a link to my Facebook page where I will post pictures of the various angles of my styling today. So you can use those as inspiration when you go to the salon for your next haircut. Thank you as always so much for watching. If you enjoy hair tutorials, please give this this video a thumbs up that really does help my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!